Vancouver taxpayers might be forgiven for cringing every time they drive by the forest of cranes that towers over the construction of the 2010 Athletes Village. We learned today the $100 million loan guarantee that caused such a firestorm last year could potentially be just the tip of a very pricey iceberg. And Vancouverites could be on the hook for a staggering sum. Aaron MacArthur reports. When construction started on the Olympic Village, it was already an ambitious project. 850 units were to be sold off after the 2010 Games to pay for itself. The costs, though, have soared, and it is Vancouver taxpayers who are on the hook. The Olympic Village is a billion-dollar project, and the city taxpayers are on the hook for all of it. To my great frustration, we can't turn back the clock on the actions of of the last mayor and council. What has forced the city's hand is a completion guarantee that was committed to in 2007. Essentially, the city became the developer of Southeast False Creek. In September of this year, the lender, New York-based Fortress, stopped financing because of the cost overruns. The city was then forced to come up with $100 million to maintain construction costs through January 15th. Without a new deal, construction will either stop February 15th or the city will pick up the remainder of the bill. It's a difficult pill for taxpayers to swallow. And uh, at this point, the important thing is that we move this forward, we get the project built, we act in the best interests of taxpayers to reduce those losses as significantly as we possibly can. What the net cost to taxpayers will be at this point is unknown. 850 of these units will be sold at market rates, but in a depressed housing market, what will that mean? Less money to pay back the nearly billion dollars. Don't forget that this is a very nice project. You know, when you talk about the cost of it, you have to remember that there's a product at the end of the day. It's not like the fast ferries, which are sitting over in North Vancouver and still unavailable for use. Uh, Peter Ladner said he was prepared to lose the election rather than disclose anything to the public. I mean, had there not been a commitment by Mayor Robertson to uh, dig deeper and find out what was going on, I don't know what would be happening today. And that's one of the very disturbing parts of it. I mean, we're looking potentially at some of the largest losses in the city's history. What was sold to the public as a project with zero risk now has the potential to become a white elephant. Yet another bill to add to the true cost of the 2010 Games. 